Hi, I'm Dave from Hardy Scale Models, and this is the first part of my 1 to 77 scale build of the Trumpeter Fairy Gannet. So, we start off obviously by taking the parts off the sprue. Um, there's not a great deal of uh, sprues in the kit, there's three, um, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then, once I've got all the parts off for the uh, fuselage and the uh, cockpit, Gonna them um, all the sand down with um sanders and these are ultimate model and products thinny sticks and sanders which I use quite a lot. Uh good size, good shape, and they're easy to use and they'll do last quite a long time as well. So just prep all of the pieces that I've taken off the sprue, get rid of all the rough edges, make sure everything's neat, there's no flash, uh, and then basically what I'm doing here is getting every single piece ready to be primed. Um, so all I do, I've got an old piece of polystyrene that you can see there and I just use some cocktail sticks and blue tack to uh, prop up the, the bits that I'm going to spray um, and then uh, get them all done, get them all lined up and then they'll go in the spray booth to be primed and painted. Once I've primed all the pieces with uh, Tamiya grey primer uh, I'm then giving them a quick spray in the booth with the cockpit colour and for this I'm using Tamiya XF82 which is the Ocean Grey 2 RAF colour. Uh, you were very dark colour they used in the uh, aircraft at that time. So getting those all primed and uh, then I'm working on the smaller parts for the cockpit which I didn't really want to have to sort of try and stick down and paint in the spray booth. So these are like the rudder pedals which are just being painted flat aluminium which is Tamiya XF16 and uh, then also painting the uh, the seats and the control column and for those I'm using Tamiya XF69 which is the NATO black colour. Uh, so getting those all done with a brush to the side and then we're ready to start pulling everything together. So now we need to start pulling together the uh, cockpit and putting all the pieces together. Um, it was It's a very simple cockpit, it's not very detailed. There's, there's no details on the seats, they're just bucket seats. Um, there's no decal for the uh, instrument panels or anything like that. So I've had to be, I've had to just accept that it's going to be a little bit basic. So pulling it all together, uh, starting off the floor and the seats. Um, and what I'm using for glue is Tamiya Extra Thin Cement, which is the glue, I, my sort of standard glue that I use uh, for smaller parts, um, which basically welds the plastic together and evaporates quite quickly. Um, so, yeah, getting the seats together, getting uh, the seat backs in, which are the other smaller parts you can see with a sort of headrest on, and then giving the sides a paint as well with XF69 again, Nato Black. And these are the sides of the cockpit that will go down by the sides of the pilot. So just giving those a quick paint over, masking it all off because it's there's some sort of definite shapes that you could mask around. And then just putting in the last few components um, before we put it into the aircraft itself. And this is just the seats going in. So as you can see, it's very basic. Uh, it's not a very detailed cockpit. Now I'm using Tamiya Paneline Accent Colour Black and this is just to bring out some of the details in the small parts in the cockpit. So with the rudder pedals, uh, just drop a bit of the uh, Paneline Accent Colour in it and it, so it, it makes it jump out, makes the, the, the details jump out. And then because it's such a basic cockpit, I'm going to try and do a little bit of weathering here. So this is just a bit of dry brushing. So load the brush with paint, uh, sort of a spiky flat brush. Load it with the silver paint and then wipe off almost all of it onto a tissue um, so that it's almost dry and then just very gently just brush across on the sort of the edges of the seats that would be where the paint would be worn away by the pilots moving around and that sort of thing uh, just to make it look a bit a bit more detailed give it a bit of bit of depth of color so it's not just one solid flat color um, and uh, just repeat the process and this is the side of the cockpit going on now where it sort of forms into a box design um, and then the forward console panel going on again which is not very detailed, I had to just add some details on myself freehand with paints and cocktail sticks and small brushes 
and then this is the rear cockpit which is the one of the unusual features of the aircraft you've got a third co a second cockpit at the back facing rearwards for the observer and a little bit more dry brushing here on the uh, rear cockpit seat and then we're ready to start pulling everything together and uh, starting to close up the fuselage so the first stage is to uh, glue in the forward undercarriage uh, which you glue straight into the uh, airframe now this is where i was actually quite impressed with this kit because everything fitted perfectly i didn't need to adjust anything uh, it's got a wing spar as you can see there which is going to make uh, fitting the wings a lot easier than normal um i was really impressed everything had a definite sort of tight fit and it was it was much easier to pull together than i was expecting it to be um so once i got the spar in place um you can see here that we're just dropping the uh the cockpits into place now so that's the uh, rear cockpit going in the front cockpit's already in there as you can see and again it just drops in glue it into place no fit use whatsoever what what i've done off camera that you can't see here obviously is that i've done a dry fit i've fitted everything together without glue and made sure everything was nice and neat and it was it i was a, i was very very pleasantly surprised uh now we don't want the aircraft to be a tail sitter and sit backwards with its front wheel in the air so what i'm going to do here is add some weight to the front of the aircraft and what i'm using are car tire weights to that garage is used to um trim car wheels so uh the the reason i use these is they've got adhesive backs sticky backs so it just eliminates having to use super glue so they come in two sizes that i've got anyway that are 10 grams and five grams so what i've done here is i've slid in uh three of the five gram uh tabs into the fuselage underneath the uh, cockpit area uh, the first one you can see that i've sort of stuck in the front that one sticks underneath so you, like i see you don't need any glue and then as you'll see in the next uh, image here when i'm starting to uh, close up the cockpit there's actually a third one that i've squeezed in the bottom there so all i'm doing here is the arrestor hook uh, for the aircraft obviously it was a carrier borne aircraft um you've got to put that in before you close up the the cockpit the fuselage sorry so just gluing that in there and then the, the cockpit actually I see again the, the fuselage went together very very easily um once you stop dropping on the floor like that uh so obviously the spars just slide straight through clips together and there's no real gaps it, it it was very very uh well well designed it went together very easily so uh just get it all together and then all i'm going to use here is tamia extra thin cement um just go along the seams paint all the seams with a, a, a good amount of the uh, the glue and then as you can see there I've just got some tape ready and I just add a piece of tape just to hold the part that I've just glued together nice and tight um, make sure that nothing sort of can sort of burst open and I left this overnight um, just to make sure that it's set. It, it probably will set in about an hour to two hours it'll be absolutely rock solid but um, when I'm closing up the aircraft, I always tend to leave them overnight just to double check. So yeah, this is just Tamiya masking tape that I'm using here. I've got three sizes <clears throat> uh, and just add it on as you go and just paint along the seam lines. And the, the tiny extra thing cement is really good. It's very, very good glue. And basically what it does, as I said, it just melts the two pieces of plastic um, and it effectively welds them together. This is the final part of the process now so just gluing the top of the aircraft uh, along the seams uh, there'll be a lot of work to come back to um sort of get rid of the seams later which will be in part two of the video um so yeah glue again same process we'll give the glue a few seconds to start evaporate and then put on a piece of tape to hold it all together and then the next morning you can take all of the tape off so this is the end of part one of the video um, part two will hopefully be up and running soon uh, and part two will be obviously uh, building the rest of the aircraft main structure the wings tail planes etc and uh, obviously filling in all of the seams gaps that i can around the aircraft and getting those all sanded down so uh, thanks for watching uh, part two will be soon and if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe 
and if you're already subscribing and you've come back to watch another video thank you very much take care bye